What is a full Ironman? Maybe you've heard the word Ironman. Let's explore what it is and where it came from. And no, this video isn't about Tony Stark, although we would all love to be a billionaire genius in an actual Ironman suit, not in this video. It's a 3.8 kilometer swim, 180 kilometer bike ride, and a 42 kilometer run. And for those without the metric system, it's a 2.6 mile swim, 110 mile bike ride, and a 26 mile run. Now let's just stop for a second and think about those numbers. 3.8 kilometers, it doesn't seem like that long, but the reality is that's a very long swim. If you've ever done any a lap of an Olympic swimming pool, one length of it is 50 meters. 76 laps of an Olympic pool. You've got 180 kilometer bike ride. Now, if you get Google Maps out and, and show yourself how far that is, that's a long way. It, it's actually a staggeringly large amount of time to spend on a bike. I challenge you to get in your car and drive 180 kilometers right now, then imagine doing that on a bike after you've just swam 3.8 kilometers. Simple, right? Then you've got your marathon. So you've just done 4.8 kilometer swim, 180 kilometer bike ride. Why not? Let's do a marathon. Clearly that's the next best thing to do. 42 kilometers is a long way. That's half an hour drive in a car doing 100 kilometers an hour. And you've got to run that after you've done everything else. And now you are done, like really done, probably on more levels than physically. I'm pretty sure your soul is exhausted after an Ironman. Who the hell thought this up? And for the answer to that, we go back to the island of Oahu in Hawaii in 1978. A group of guys trying to figure out who was better probably with beer involved, no doubt. When a cyclist, a swimmer, and a runner felt the urge to decide who was the fittest. And so they thought they'd come up with the Iron Man. And I'm sure the story's been embellished over the years, but it makes perfect sense. That's how crazy things happen. Men sitting around trying to figure out who can do something the best. But hey, the outcome was fantastic. Iron Man is an amazing event and it's been an amazing event that whole time. I wondered to myself how such a wicked event like the Iron Man came from such a beautiful place like Hawaii. But, and I'd really love to meet the guys who came up with this idea. Maybe we can do that in the future. Now, I wasn't there obviously for the original conversation in 1978. I was only three. Having said that, I was a pretty energetic kid. I might've given them a run for their money. But that is the legend of how Iron Man started. So hopefully it's true, because I really quite like that idea that three men sitting around, no doubt having a beer, came up with the idea. One thing I really do love about the Iron Man event is that it is a true equal event. Men and women do the same course, same distances, same everything. There's no, no, no easy version. Now, there are Iron Man events all around the world. Pretty much every country that, or every country that does triathlon has an Iron Man event. There are even some really crazy Iron Man events, like a double Iron Man that you can do in Wales. I watched another YouTuber do his, and oh my God. Now we know what Iron Man is and where it came from, make sure you follow my journey from fat to Iron Man, get an in-depth understanding of what it takes to go from really unfit and overweight to competing in an Iron Man and taking back control of your life. Click subscribe and you can see all the blood, sweat and tears the whole way through. I hope this inspires you to start your own Iron Man journey. Or you can just enjoy watching a fat man sweating his ass off. See you there.